Ezekiel chapter 20. In the seventh year, in the fifth month, on the tenth day, some of the elders of Israel came to inquire of the Lord, and they sat down in front of me. Then the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, speak to the elders of Israel and say to them, This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Have you come to inquire of me? As surely as I live, I will not let you inquire of me, declares the Sovereign Lord. Will you judge them? Will you judge them, son of man? Then confront them with the detestable practices of their fathers and say to them, This is what the Sovereign Lord says. On the day I chose Israel, I swore with uplifted hand to the descendants of the house of Jacob and revealed myself to them in Egypt. With uplifted hand, I said to them, I am the Lord your God. On that day, I swore to them that I would bring them out of Egypt into a land I had searched out for them, a land flowing with milk and honey, the most beautiful of all lands. And I said to them, each of you, get rid of the vile images you have set your eyes on and do not defile yourself with the idols of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. But they rebelled against me and would not listen to me. They did not get rid of the vile images they had set their eyes on, nor did they forsake the idols of Egypt. So I said I would pour out my wrath on them and spend my anger against them in Egypt. But for the sake of my name, I did what I would I did what would keep it from being profane in the eyes of the nations they lived among and in whose sight I had revealed myself to the Israelites by bringing them out of Egypt. Therefore, I led them out of Egypt and brought them into the desert. I gave them my decrees and made known to them my laws. For the man who obeys them will live by them. Also, I gave them my Sabbaths as a sign between us, so they would know that I, the Lord, made them holy. Yet the people of Israel rebelled against me in the desert. They did not follow my decrees by rejecting my laws, although the man who obeys them will live by them, and they utterly desecrated my Sabbaths. So I said I would pour out my wrath on them and destroy them in the desert, but for the sake of my name, I did what would keep it from being profaned in the eyes of the nations in whose sight I had brought them out. Also, with uplifted hand, I swore to them in the desert that I would not bring them into the land I had given them, a land flowing with milk and honey, most beautiful of all lands, because they rejected my laws and did not follow my decrees and des desecrated my Sabbaths. For their hearts were devoted to their idols, yet I looked on them with pity and did not destroy them or put an end to them in the desert. I said to their children in the desert, Do not follow the statutes of your fathers, or keep their laws, or defile, their, defile yourselves with their idols. I am the Lord your God. Follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. Keep my Sabbaths holy, that there may be a sign between us. Then you will know that I am the Lord your God. But the children rebelled against me. They did not follow my decrees. They were not careful to keep my laws. Although the man who obeys them will live by them. And they desecrated my Sabbaths. So I said I would pour out my wrath on them and spend my anger against them in the desert. But I withheld my hand for the sake and for the sake of my name. I did what would keep it from being profaned in the eyes of the nations in whose sight I had brought them out. Also, with uplifted hand, I swore to them in the desert I would um, disperse them among the nations and scatter them through their countries through the countries because they had not obeyed my laws but had rejected my decrees and desecrated my sabbaths and their eyes lusted after their father's idols i also gave them over to statutes that were not good and laws that they could not live by 
I let them become defiled through their gifts, the sacrifice of every firstborn, that I might fill them with horror so they would know that I am the Lord. Therefore, son of man, speak to the people of Israel and say to them, this is what the sovereign Lord says. In this also your fathers blasphemed me for sin by forsaking me when i brought them into the land i had swore to them to give them and they saw any hill high or any leafy tree they there they offered their sacrifices made offerings that provoked me to anger presented their fragrant incense and poured out their drink offerings then i said to them this sorry then I said to them, what is this high place you go to? It is called Bama to this day. Therefore, say to the house of Israel, this is what the sovereign Lord says. Will you defile yourselves the way your fathers did and lust after their vile images? When you offer your gifts, the sacrifice of your sons in the fire, you continue to defile yourselves with all your idols to this day. Am I to let you inquire of me, O house of Israel? As surely as I live, declares the sovereign Lord, I will not let you inquire of me. You say, we want to be like the nations, like the people of the world who serve wood and stone. But what you have in mind will never happen. As surely as I live, declares the sovereign Lord. I will rule over you with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm and with outpoured wrath. I will bring you from the nation and gather you from the countries where you have been scattered with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm and with outpoured wrath. I will bring you into the desert of the nations and there face to face I will execute judgment on you as I judged your fathers in the desert and the land of the land of Egypt, so I will judge you, declares the sovereign Lord. I will take note of you as you pass under my rod, and I will bring you into the bond of the covenant. I will purge you of those who revolt and rebel against me, although I will bring them out of the land where they are living, yet they will not enter the land of Israel. Then you will know that I am the Lord. As for you, O house of Israel, this is what the sovereign Lord says. Go and serve your idols, every one of you. But afterwards, you will surely listen to me and no longer profane my holy name with your gifts and idols. For on my holy mountain, the high mountain of Israel, declares the sovereign Lord, there in the land, the entire house of Israel will serve me and there I will accept them. There I will require your offerings and your choice gifts along with all your holy sacrifices. I will accept you as a fragrant incense when I bring you out from the nations and gather you from the countries where you have been scattered. And I will show myself holy among you in the sight of the nations then you will know that i am the lord when i bring you into the land of israel the land i had sworn with uplifted hand i will give to your fathers there you will remember your conduct and all the actions by which you have defiled yourselves and you will loathe yourself for the evil that you have done you will know that i am the lord when I deal with you for my name's sake and not according to your evil ways and your corrupt practices, O house of Israel, declares the Sovereign Lord. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, set your face toward the south. Preach against the south and prophesy against the forest of the southland. Say to the southern forest, hear the word of the Lord. This is is what the sovereign lord says i am about to set fire to you and it will and it will consume all your trees both green and dry the blazing flame will not be quenched and every face from south to north will be scorched by it 
everyone will see that I, the Lord, have kindled it. It will not be quenched. Then I said, Ah, sovereign Lord, they are saying of me, isn't he just telling parables?